this video will explain how to translate existential statements in predicate logic. So we will use the symbol, it looks like a backwards E, um, to stand for the quantifier sum, which also can be read as there exists. So consider the statement, some cats like wearing sweaters. In order to translate this statement, we first need to identify the predicates in this statement. So we have two predicates, since cats is in the C and cats is in parentheses, we know that we have CX, stands for X is a cat, and then we have the W in wearing that indicates that we use the letter W for the next predicate, which, so we have WX is X likes wearing sweaters. We then put those together in an existential formula. We put, first we put the existential quantifier with an X, and then we put the predicates uh, in the order, by convention we put them in the order they appear in the English sentence. So first we put CX and then we put WX. And these are joined with an AND because an existential statement affirms both of the predicates. So it says there is a thing, there exists a thing such that it's a cat and it's wearing a sweater. So that is what's called a positive existential statement. We can also have existential negative statements. So some cats, while some cats like wearing sweaters, other cats, some cats do not like wearing sweaters. So we have the same predicates. CX is X is a cat and WX is X likes wearing sweaters. We always do predicates as positive statements and then we negate them just like in propositional logic we always did the simple statements as positive statements and then we negated them as necessary. So likewise we're going to have the existential quantifier with an X at the beginning of the statement and then we'll have the predicates um, come after that in the order that they appear in the English sentence um, but in this case because we want to say that some cats do not like wearing sweaters, we need to negate the predicate WX because some cats don't like wearing sweaters. So this says there exists an X such that it's a cat and it doesn't like wearing sweaters. So just watch out for the negations. That's really the key to this is watch out and make sure you pay attention to the fact that there's a negation in a statement and put it where it belongs.